Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Nux.js project and uh, how to deploy it to Google App Engine. So first of all, what is Nux.js? What is a Nux.js project? Well, a Nux.js project by definition on the official website is Nux.js is a framework for creating web view JS um, applications. You can choose between universal, static generated or single page application. So what does that mean? Well um, with normal Vue.js with typical Vue.js applications you are going to you are not you have um, dynamically generated content which is generated by JavaScript uh, while it is while it is really um, easy to use and um, developers love it there's a downside to it Vue.js um, because it's, it renders everything in JavaScript uh, search engine crawlers cannot um, search any content uh, when when they found a website that is because a search engine search engine crawlers can't execute JavaScript files so Nux.js eliminates that problem by renders the Vue.js component on the server side and then send the rendered content to the client side i.e. the browser. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let me just go to a VJS, VJS application that I created before. Run it and it's starting the dev server. I'll show you what I mean. So with this Vue.js applications you can see loads of content on the, on the page. Um, you can see different furnitures. This is a cal catalog that I created for a furniture company before. You can see loads of um, furnitures, content. This is what us humans sees. But with search engine crawlers, they don't see this kind of content. What they see is a source code like this. Well, if you have um, developed in HTML before, you understand what this means. The mean the the magic happens in the app.js file, the JavaScript file for Vue.js. Vue.js dynamically renders the content um, provided by the developers to the app uh, app element shown here so so everything is rendered in real time for the user but for the web crawlers because they can't execute JavaScript they won't see any sort of content they will only see a blank app element okay so now that I've shown you what the problem is what the problem with normal Vue.js file, Vue.js uh, applications. Let me show you how to eliminate eliminate that problem with Nux.js. First of all, type in this command: npx create Nux app, um, and then the project name. Let's say hello YouTube. Well, before you execute this command please make sure that you have node installed on your machine if you don't have the, you have the, if you don't have node installed this command will not work okay let's execute this uh, command and see what we get well i know what it, what we'll get is um, they it will ask me some options for the for the project um, yeah let's see what we get Project name, hello YouTube, my sublime Nux.js project. Author name, my name's Def Jeff. If you if you're wondering, 
uh, package, ma package manager I'm going to use uh, milk package manager UI framework let's choose none for now the custom server framework let's choose none for now um, modules let's choose none linting tool let's choose none uh, test framework let's choose none and then rendering mode let's choose SSR server side rendering um, with Next.js, you are going to get two separate modules, a server-side node modules and a client-side UI uh, front-end modules. So this is two separate modules uh, that is going to be run. So um, let's change directory to the newly created project. and. Um, run the development command and see what we get so you can see it's building client and server um, at the same time means that it needs two uh, modules let's go to the request the, the the URL and see yeah it works hello YouTube my sublime next.js project this is the basic bare bone um, boilerplate uh, project that you get with uh, create Nux app. So let me show you what I mean. What's the difference between a normal, typical Vue.js application and the Nux.js application? When you view the source code, you can see everything is rendered. Hello YouTube, my sublime Next.js project. So all every content, all content, are rendered directly to the HTML file, which is web, which is search engine searchable by Google and Yahoo discount kind of search engines. If I, I'm going to show you. Just delete this. Um, let me just create I let me just open the project in your favorite text editor and um, you can see this is a basic file structure of Next.js project the most important part of it is the pages direct uh, folder you can see this there there's an index of view um, single file component in the pages uh, folder and you can see hello YouTube my sublime Nux.js project which is um, the content rendered on the screen here on the web page if you want to know more about Vue.js and uh, single file component and how Vue.js work leave me a comment below that so that I know you guys want to see a tutorial on how J Vue.js work but for now I, I'm just assuming that uh, you guys know how it works and yeah so everything is rendered server side to the on the to the website to the web page so now that you know what Nux.js is and how it improves uh, your website let's see how let me show you how to deploy it how to deploy it to Google App Engine. Uh, in the root directory, you have to you please create a file called app.yaml. This is a markup uh, markup language file. Uh, in there, you will have this and uh, have this code in there. So what this means is. Um, what this code means is for the runtime uh, you are using Node.js 10 version 10 because Node.js is based on Node and Vue.js is based on Node um, you have to use uh, not Vue.js is not based on Node but Node.js is based on Node the server is based on Node so you have to use um, Node.js runtime the instance class is just the size of the uh, size of the virtual machine that is going to power your project 
you can be careful that um, choosing a different size of uh, instance uh, instance class is going to cost you different amount of money. So you have to you have to think about it first before deploying it. Right now, it's, I'm choosing F2, which is the standard small uh, standard uh, instance handlers. These are all uh, handlers mappings to um, specific URLs to that uh, to the to the Google App Engine URL. This is all uh, taken f right from the official Next.js um, Google App Engine deploy documentation. So you can just follow this and it should work. So what this app.yelm does is that it tells Google App Engine what to use and which to use. After you have created the app.yelm, Go to your terminal again and make sure that you have downloaded Google Cloud SDK. Google Cloud SDK. Make sure you've downloaded this on your computer and installed it so it works in your terminal. After you've installed it, type in this command Google Cloud. Uh, config. S uh, no. Google Cloud project create. Type in your project ID. I'll just type in hello YouTube Dev Jeff, something like that. And it will create a project for you. It says uh, this, this project is, this code is already used by another project. Oh, so let's just say two. So this will create a project for uh, for you for the for the ID with the ID you typed in. Let's wait until this finish and we will see. So now that it's, it has finished, um, type in Google Cloud G Cloud config set project to um, this ID. So what it's doing is to set the default project the, to point to the, the newly created project that you just created. After that, um, type in gcloud app Make sure make sure that you are in the directory of the of the Nuxt.js uh, project. Make sure that and uh, type in gcloud app deploy. Let's see what it says. So um, choose a region. I'll choose uh, Asia East two, and it should um, deploy my app. Let's see what it does. Hmm. It will take some time. Let's wait. You can skip ahead if you if you're not patient. Uh okay. Um yes. I'm going to deploy this to there. This 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 part takes a bit of time, so you can skip ahead if you want to. Do, 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 do. Failed. Okay. Oh, so what it's saying that is um, you have to enable uh, Cloud Build API first. So copy this URL here and go to the website, go to the link. And it will tell you to enable this cloud build API. And while we're and uh, let's enable this first, you have to enable enable building for the for the for the project. And while it's enabling, actually we we have something to something else to do. 
we have to build the project once first. Let's build the project once. npm run build. Type in, and then it's going to build the project. Now it's built. Yeah. So it says I need a credential to 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 use the API, Cloud Build API. Yes, I'm using App Engine. Oh, so it's saying that I don't need the credentials. So okay. Um. So ignore that. Now that it's built and the Cloud Build API is enabled, Cloud uh, G Cloud app is deployed again. It should be good. Let's see. This part takes some time. Usually, it takes about two minutes, one minute. For bigger applications, it takes like it could take like eight to eight to nine minutes. And it times out at ten minutes, so you may have to change like your timeout um, th threshold if you if you are building like a large larger applications. But for this one, it should be quite quick. Let's see what we get. We should get a um, we should get a a link to our project. This is quite slow, um, as I stated. What the? This is quite slow, I have to say. As I said, you can cut to cut, skip ahead to to uh to the to forward and see the result. I I'm just going to wait here. Okay, it's done. Starting to split, uh, setting up this traffic split. Should be good. Okay. So now that it's been deployed, type in G Cloud App Browse to browse the results. So yeah, now it's done. It is here and uh, the link is um, your app id appspot.com um, let me check the source code you can see everything is rendered server side what is what is working what is doing the magic is nux is running a node server behind the scene w using Google App Engine and it's rendering all this content on the server side and sending it to the to the client so this is really good and uh, yeah this is pretty much it and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video this tutorial I'm going to do more tutorials in the future about Vue.js about Nux and computing in general. You may see some vlogs on my channel, my personal vlogs. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please press the like button. If you dislike this video, please press the dislike button. Um, and leave a comment in the comment section down below as well. Uh, what you think about my this tutorial? What you what you what you think about it? And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.